Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to another video i hope you're having a wonderful day so in today's video i'm going to share with you guys one stock i completely sold out of so that's completely gone and four companies i'm adding to so one is a brand new company that i've actually just talked about in the last video and the rest are existing positions that i would like to add to the company i've completely sold out of is unilever and i'm going to explain to you in a second why i've done that but if you haven't joined us on the patreon account that will be really helpful if you can join on the patreon account where you, where you get access to all of these things as well as of course as always making sure that you like the videos because it actually makes a huge difference now this is the company that i completely sold out of and the reason is very simple this company i've had it for a long long time in the portfolio since i started this i think portfolio it's been in there the company has not done anything for the last whatever years so since right now as you can see the max here 28 percent down since 1996 and yeah the dividend was good is based in the uk and so on and one of the reasons i've sold out of completely is because of ben and jerry's branch that they have in in you know in palestine they occupied palestine and so on and the situation there they've been fighting the two companies have been fighting because the ben and jerry's were bought by unilever they've been kind of ongoing court for the last couple of years and now it's got to a point where i'm like i'm just fed up and there's not much of a growth in the company as well as all this madness that they're doing i'm just out of it completely there are other positions out there there's other companies out there that i'm interested in and that's basically what i've done so i've completely sold out of this company and what i'm going to do now is show you where i'm going to put that money into so i took i think it was about 70 80 pounds loss okay if you look at the dividends that i've received in the last couple of um basically um quarters it covers that so i thought you know what it's time to get out of this company and put that money to work in somewhere else where i genuinely think i will basically get that dividends as well as of course the, the growth side of it and the first company that i would like to add to the portfolio is master mastercard i just started a new position i think i just bought a i don't know just 11 pounds worth of shares um recently i've talked about it and inshallah i would be buying more of it in today's video so this company is right now is not cheap but if you see here wall street is actually expected basically saying it's a strong buy if we click here you will see how much they're expecting in terms of so about eight percent upside from where it is about five hundred dollars right now is basically closer to that and if we look at the earnings expectations for this company is really great in terms of double digit growth in terms of eps in the next three years and the double digit growth in terms of um, revenue side of things no issues there i've all i've had this company in the portfolio in the in previously i think i've sold it in 2011 i think it when it went up so high and the reason i sold it at the time was because my portfolio had so many technology companies and a lot of these companies were trading higher multiples so i thought i'll take one off completely basically took some profit and then sold it and put that money to work in other sectors where i thought it will basically there was more value and you know what since gone since then is actually keep you know it kept going up as you can see here if you look at the last five years it's basically went down quite a bit in 20 the covid 2020 and uh, 2020 it went down as low as 220 ish and then since then it's been actually going up okay so i think i've sold it when it was 300 something so let me just quickly show you some some of the matrix here so you can see here 430 billion market cap it has a you know in terms of safety wise at 99 percent that's the highest dividend yield is not great okay so what you will notice in basically in this portfolio is that i'm not genuinely focusing on just the yield side of it the dividend growth and i'll show you that dividend growth the fact that there's only 19 percent payout ratio as well as increasing by 16 percent 17 percent in the last five years is absolutely wonderful 23 percent in the last 10 years which is wonderful to see and look at that growth okay there's 12 years of increasing that dividend 17 years without reduction which is great two dollars and 64 is what you get for every quarter um for this and it looks reasonably valued right now if you look at the five-year average at the, in terms of dividend yield and where it is right now it's actually very similar in terms of pe as well 33 and 32 is where it is now so again it's like i've always said to you guys this is not a financial company there's more technology financials have a very low um in pe normally anyway so I'm, i wouldn't compare that because this is very high growth financials is full of banks and so on in terms of earnings payout ratio which is like 
literally 60% is what we're looking for. Below 60% is right now just 18%, which is quite nice. Free cash flow payout ratio, again, just 20%. 60, below 60% is what we're looking for. Absolutely wonderful to see earnings per share growing, free cash flow per share growing. In terms of a share of standings declining, total sales is going up. Return on equity, great return on invested capital absolutely amazing operating margin whatever you look at whatever matrix you're looking for about this company it's absolutely amazing very very similar to um visa i do own visa i wouldn't mind owning both of them and that's what i'm exactly going to do inshallah final thing i want to show you about the company is what morningstar is saying it's fairly valued at the moment to 421 dollars per share is where they think the price should be right now we're looking about 461 dollars per share so not far off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy five company basically five shares of this stock um so one of the brothers actually said recently do it with limited order but i think i'm just going to go market order um but yeah sometimes yeah anyway um let me know if you actually prefer limited because I, the brother was saying is you actually make some um you save maybe a couple of pounds here and there if you that's what you normally do let me know um but yeah i'm gonna buy it now on the market and send that to the market so that's it so i've got now five shares 1847 pounds the worth of those shares so let's have a look we still have 2171 pounds left to spend of the 4000 that we had and the next company we're looking at today or i'm adding to is automatic data processing this company right now as you can see quants is actually saying it's a buy seeking alpha analysis saying it's a buy wall street is not far off in terms of earnings um, side of things in fact let me just show you the price for um actually no let's go to earnings estimates first so as you can see double digits almost for the next at least three years and maybe next four years against six percent and growth for the next three years as well when it comes to eps side of things if we look at 103 billion dollars in terms of market caps 97 percent safety over two percent dividend yield right now the payout ratio is 60 percent slightly high but hopefully that will should come down 12 percent 14 percent in terms of growth in the last five years and so on next year they're going to become a dividend king you get five dollars and sixty cents for every share of this company that you own looks like basically undervalued at the moment the five-year average is basically two um, percent dividend yield right now is 2.2 which is quite nice in terms of the five-year average pe is 27.9 right now it's about 26 so looking at that is actually not bad at all the payout ratio as you can see here now is basically on that border borderline 60 percent free cash flow um, payout ratio more or less the same as well but it has is coming down next year and also this one is coming down which is quite nice earnings per share is heading the right direction free cash flow per share is also going the right direction share sales standing are declining total sales is getting better i mean it's grow, growing every single year return on invest on on equity sorry 97 percent return on invested capital we're looking at about 61 percent operating margins of 26 percent free cap, um, cash flow margin of 18 percent and EBITDA right now um, net to, to EBITDA right now 0.31 which is absolutely wonderful to see if we look at uh, Morningstar as you can see it's three stars right now fairly valued 240 dollars per share is where they think the price should be right now it's about 209 dollars so i don't mind just paying a little bit more for this company because i really like the company i've had it in the portfolio for quite some time i have not had the opportunity to add to it. i'm up about nine percent but i'm willing to actually buy more of this company so what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy five shares of this company as well send it to the market so about 994 dollars per share um, um to in total sorry so that's gone now to the market so now i own 30 shares of this company now almost a four thousand pounds worth of stocks that i own right now about that company the next one that we're looking at today is this astrazeneca right now as you can see here is up a little bit it was in the uk of course like yet basically to date is actually down about nine percent almost which is quite nice 15 terms of pe wall street is actually saying it's a buy and as you can see here it's about 20 let's call it about 30 percent upside from where we are now they expecting this remember this is the us ticker so this almost 80 dollars per share right now we're looking at about 61 so about 30 percent upside from where we are now if we look at the earnings for expectations right for this company double digits for the next three years and then when we look at the um 
in terms of EPS, also double digits next year in 2024 this year, and then 7%, 4% after that. Now, in terms of dividends, safety side of things, we're looking about 70%, which is quite nice. Dividend yield of 2.3%. If we go down to, if where did we go? Um, if we look at the, let's go down 40% in terms of payout ratio. This, I don't trust this, okay? Let me show you. I like to use dividend uh, max for UK based companies. And as you can see, there's a little bit of decline there. So I think that's probably why I don't know. I don't think that's a cut that's quarterly dividend. So, but it is actually being consistent for quite some time, which is basically I'm happy with. Um, so this, I wouldn't actually worry too much about, um, of course, and $1 and 42 cents is what you get for every share of this company that you own. So it looks, looks uh, reasonably valued right now, 2.4 two percent in terms of dividend yield right now is about 2.3 which is slightly lower in terms of PE was about basically 19 right now it's about 15 so because of that it actually seems a little bit cheaper um, looking at other metrics as well earnings per share um, payout ratio of the only 33 percent okay free cash flow payout ratio as well of 59 percent almost the borderline where we're looking for earnings per share is heading the right direction free cash flow per share is heading the right direction Shares are standing that they have been diluting in the last, basically, they have diluted in 2022 since then. I think they probably acquired another business and so on because, you know, pharmaceutical companies, what they do is they grow. They don't grow organically as much as other industries, meaning they don't actually just they acquire other business to grow their business. So that's probably one of the reasons why this has gone up quite a bit. But total sales has been going up since then, of course, which is quite nice. Return on equity, we're looking about 16%. Return on investor capital, about 11%. Operating margin of 11 and 18%. Free cash flow margin of 15%. And again, this is UK-based company. And UK stocks have not done anything in the last God knows how many years, 10 years, 15 years. But this one is decent. It's actually, it has a big market cap. And I think in terms of growth side of it, if you're expecting 11%, you know, 12% is better than some of the companies like Pfizer and so on, which is actually have a negative forecast. So for that reason, I will buy more of this company. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to do a kind of limit order with this one. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to send this to the market and see what happens so when the uk market opens tomorrow morning then we will see what happens with that one so i've basically bought five shares of astrazeneca as well and if you can see here there we go where is it um there we go okay so we will see what happens with that depending order and the final company i would like to add to today is exxon mobile this company as you can see if we look at the for the one year to date as you can see just up tiny bit and for the one year, it's actually 14%, 15% down. Quite low PE in terms of PE side of things. If we look at the earnings um, if estimate for the this year is a negative 10%, but the after that, it's about 8%, 9%, 4%. So next two years, it will bounce back. And if we, same thing for the revenue. So there's a bit of a decline in terms of revenue side of things. Oil companies are not favored at the moment, but things can easily change as we know in the market. And now looking at Wall Street and what they're saying, as you can see here, is about 23% basically upside from where we are now. If we look at the dividend side of things, so 3.78%, 80% safety um, in terms of payout ratio is looking at 28%, 4% growth, 3% in the last five years, 41 years of increase in that three dollars and 80 cents for every share that you own seems a little bit overvalued according to them because it used to be 4.72 remember because oil was cheap this company got went up quite a bit so for the last few years it had a very high p at some point i think it was like yeah at some point in 2020 i think it was like eight percent um what it was this 2020 it hit about 11 percent, 12 percent. can you imagine if you bought that, that at that time so it has because of that it's actually done down quite a bit and um, seems a bit expensive right now but based on PE it seems exactly in line with what the market is showing the earnings pay payout ratio right now is about 44 percent so below 60 uh, 40 percent is what we're looking for so it's right now about 44 percent and not nothing to worry about there earnings again remember this is a very cyclical business so earnings per share is a bit choppy here 2020 of course it went negative and it has bounced back and then now it has kind of a little bit declined and it might bounce back again free cash flow per share is almost exactly the same shares outstanding they have been buying their own shares in the last couple of years total sales 
um, but so, so again, it's very cyclical business. So sometimes it's up, sometimes down. Return on equity, 18%, in terms of return on invested capital, operating margins of 15%, free cash flow, uh, margin of 10%, which is nice. Um, net debt to EBITDA right now, almost non-existent, which is absolutely fine. If we look at the morning star, as you can see, it's four stars right now. It's undervalued about 18%, okay? And it, the price they're expecting is 123. So let's go back here and I do have uh, 691 pounds and 33 pence and that will go towards this company. So 691 and 33 and I'm just gonna send that to the market. That gives you about 8.6 shares of this company. So there you have it. That is the companies that I wanted to basically buy. Unilever is no longer in this portfolio. And now I have 21 shares of Exxon Mobile, almost 21 shares, and the rest of them, as you can see. Hopefully, we'll, we'll let you know what happens with AstraZeneca tomorrow morning. And that's still pending, of course, because the market, UK market, is closed right now. Anyway, if you're enjoying this type of content, if you're enjoying transparency, is what I'm doing here. You know, I'm recording this after work and I'm absolutely knackered, but I wanted to share with you guys this with this with you guys instead of just doing it and then sharing it with you guys at the end of the month so if you're enjoying this type of content please like the video subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any questions of course i will be adding 300 pounds i'm sorry 500 pounds for this week because i still have let me actually quickly show you i still have 4500 almost to add so i'm adding 500 pounds this week and inshallah i'll let you know what i buy on the discord inshallah have a wonderful day assalamu alaikum